Thank you, Heidi. When I was asked to speak tonight, I researched Pichacucha, and had to learn how to say it, which revealed its origins as an architectural-based forum. With this information, I wondered why I would be asked to represent a food-based charity within this forum and how I could make it relevant. But I thought, when I thought about it more, and I thought about what architects really do, and realised that they don't just design buildings, but they look at how people coexist. Architects do not just look at the blueprint of a building, but rather the blueprint of a community. And by now I realised exactly what the connection was between cutting a carrot at our big kitchen and what architects, scientists, psychologists, corporates and so on do. Our big kitchen, affectionately known as OBK, is the brainchild of Rabbi Dovid Slavin and his wife Leah, who dreamt of a place where people from all walks of life could come and be welcomed, could come when they're in need, and also to help other people. OBK is a not-for-profit organisation that has the facade of a commercial kitchen with the heart and soul of more than just a community organisation, it's a community passion. Over the years, OBK has grown immensely. To give you some idea, last year alone we distributed over 50,000 portions of food to the homeless and others. More than 70 schools and more than 4,000 students visited OBK. We now have a volunteer army in excess of 500 people and last year they performed over 15,000 volunteer hours helping people such as the homeless. Last year we had about 40 corporations, including over 2,000 participants, come in and together have a fun and meaningful environment experience, the output from which was many meals to those in need. We host a variety of programs, including corporate events, USH, which is the out-of-school hours care, school groups, birthday parties, mother's clubs, challah baking, which is the making of traditional Jewish bread, programs to support new people to the country, such as asylum seekers, and we're also part of the government's first emergency response group, and we have a very special barista training course for people who are homeless. When I was asked to speak tonight on home, I started to consider, to consider what I understood home to be. My comfortable eastern suburbs upbringing suggested to me that home was easily synonymous with other familiar concepts, such as family, comfortability, security and shelter. It has been through life's experiences that I have seen my basic understanding of home both evolve and shatter. And through our big kitchen, I've seen it being pieced back together. At the heart of everything we do and will continue to do is the community. And because of this, OBK has come to represent home to so many. OBK is a place when anyone can come in with any problem and receive not only a portion of food, but also many hands willing to assist. OBK, like any real home, is a place where no one is judged because of their background and no one is any less deserving than the next. It is a family. Given the vast array of people uh, from all walks of life that come to OBK, the concept of a second chance becomes our central theme. Second chances for the homeless, for people with, with disabilities, and then there is our relationship with corrective services. Our big kitchen employs up to five inmates full-time whilst they are in custody. They leave jail in the morning, they come to our big kitchen and earn an honest day's pay for an honest day's work and then return at night to Silverwater to be locked up. Second chances is what our big kitchen is all about. Second chances. And to that extent, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am inmate number 378121. Following a successful career in property development and funds management, some 10 years ago, I myself went down a destructive path that ultimately landed me in jail for a fair period of time. Now let me go back a minute. When I was flying high in my career and I had listed my company on the Australian Stock Exchange and I was worth a fortune, I had this rabbi, Rabbi Slavin, the founder of Our Big Kitchen, constantly trying to call me, presumably to make a donation. And to my great shame, I never took Rabbi Slavin's calls. And I can only express my gratitude that when my time of need came, he immediately took mine and unconditionally welcomed me into the OBK family home under the Works Release Scheme. 
And so nearly two years ago, when I was released from jail, I became Albert Kitchen's general manager, a position I hold with great pride and genuine empathy for others in life needing a second chance. So my home moved from my comfortable eastern suburbs upbringing to sharing an institution with people from all walks of life, socioeconomic backgrounds, cultures and religions. I have listened over the last 20 years to both major political parties within New South Wales advocate harsher and harsher penalties for criminals. I have no problem with making penalties harsher and I do not resent the period of time that I was given in jail. What I do say, however, is the longer the jail sentence, the greater the damage done to a person in terms of their ability to reintegrate into the wider community. So if, as is generally the case, a criminal is to ultimately be released, then proper consideration must be given to restoring the past wrongdoer to a valuable contributor and participant within the community. This means expanding the works release program such as I enjoyed. It means redesigning jails from centres of punishment to vocational training centres so that inmates, when released, actually have a skill. Remember, if the community does not re-engage with a former criminal and offer them work, then there is an underworld ready, willing and able to re-employ and retool them for a continued career in crime. It is not in the community's interest to simply go harsher on criminals without a corresponding thought to proper reintegration strategies. I have experienced firsthand what OBK does for people, how it provides for those uh, who do not come from a traditional home and who need that extra support, love and encouragement. If the age-old dictum, home is where the heart is, is correct, I feel very fortunate and proud to stand here representing our big kitchen and the unconditional affection it has for all members of the community. I thank the organisers from Pecha Kucha, Pecha Kucha, for, <laughs> Pecha Kucha, for the opportunity of speaking and I hope I will see you all one day again at our big kitchen. Thank you.